You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... nine years. there people this is pals and uh yeah it's been a while it's been a while almost nine years since i've done a properly edited video with commentary um on the screen right now uh this is observation this is going to be a blind playthrough i don't know anything about the game just heard it's uh good so um, unfortunately this is post commentary not live because I mucked up the audio, so welcome back me. Um, but that's okay, it'll just be uh, this first session. Um, yeah, I prefer to do live. So I'll, uh, I'll let the opening play. Hope you're all keeping well. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140-412. So, um, Sam is us. We are the ship's AI. Uh, very obviously influenced by the film 2001 A Space Odyssey. Great film. Um, I recommend watching it if you haven't. Um, but yeah, there's... I don't think this game shies away from those influences. I've got no problem with that. Great. Thanks, Sam. That's good. Come on, give me something. Sam? Are you there? Respond. So I initially played for about an hour and um, it's reasonably slow going, partly because I'm learning the controls and partly because I don't think it's very clear I am here. Uh, oh, what to do early on. Thank God. Okay, okay. But I speed some parts up later. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam, you seem to have booted up in module eight. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in module nine. 
That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. I really like the look of these um, camera shots. I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? At first glance, they do look quite realistic, the kind of camera feeds you get from uh, spacecraft. Quite cool. Funny story, uh, the first time I saw 2001 Space Odyssey was actually on a flight on the tiny little screen on the back of a seat. <laughs> um, it's not the way to view that film, trust me. But uh, I've watched it properly since. Great film. Module 9 is fully pressurised. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? So again, it gives you kind of free control at this point. Um, I pick a module at random. And yeah, nothing to report on this one. this one, you can see that the hull contacts are false. Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false, suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! <sighs> the controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? I clicked accept to bring her, but I have no idea what that means yet. <laughs> um, I find the uh, flashing and like the camera wobble and kind of videotape effect uh, gives quite a good claustrophobic feel. Um, however, it can be slightly nauseating actually, and later on when we get some free camera movement, um, yeah. I, I can see how it might make some people motion sick, um, so I will be trying not to swing the camera around too hard and uh, things like that. But uh, yeah, looks like she blacked out and she's waking up. I, oh, I think I blacked out. This isn't good. This isn't good. Sam, run your self-diagnostic procedure. What errors are you showing? So relocation network error, we'll click diagnose on that. And we will run the network check. Module relocation network is non-operational, crew assist required. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Memory core error. Diagnose. So 
So it looks like there are four memory cores. It takes me a, a minute here to work out what I need to do. Um, so you have to hover over the number and then hold up on the left stick. So there's 95% corrupt, uh, corruption on that one. 93% corruption. Eighty-seven percent. It says degradation, not corruption, doesn't it? And ninety-seven. Yeah, I'm watching this on a small screen. <laughs> Sorry about that. Joys of post commentary. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Crew tracker error. Diagnose. And we've got some connection failures. Connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? Looks like it's just me and you. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. I quite like the concept that we are playing an AI that um, seems to have uh, I don't know, an ulterior motive or there's something going on um, and I like the fact that Great. we're not sure what's going on even though it's us from here. Uh, it's there interesting there a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there find it and scan it your scan range is limited so use your camera zoom to get closer so here I'm checking out the controls and you can see in the top left um, at the moment I'm in EAS 9 and I've got access to cameras A, B and C and I'm looking for a document on the wall and I think it takes me a little while because again, some of these things with three um, or more cameras to control uh, and lots of things to look at it can take a while to find what you're looking for um, and one criticism I have is that this panning speed this, this is as fast as it goes which uh, is just a little bit slow if you're trying to pan around the room. I know it's probably more realistic, but um, I wish I could speed it up just a little bit. Um, I think I actually tried to in the settings later on, but uh, it's not possible. So I eventually switch over to this camera and uh, realize that it's right here. So with the hatch controls is a simple three button press combination Good. Looks like that's for each one. Add another. So pretty easy. So 
so yeah nearly nine years I <laughs> I think I, I po actually posted a video saying I'm going away for a short while um, and then took nearly a decade off and a lot's happened Yeah, lots happened in that time. Um, I'll probably get into some personal updates in the coming okay, videos. Like we'll see that how I feel. Your system link interface to open the EAS airlock. If anyone's watching this that did watch my videos back in the day, probably COD Zombies videos, please let me know. Um, that would be pretty awesome. If not, then no problem. And I finally find what I'm looking for. What we need a schematic. Use your system links to open the EAS eleven airlock. Come on. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh. If you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Now that is a very good question. Oh shit. I've just remembered that in 2001 is based on the sea, uh, the computer is called HAL, so Sam is based on HAL. So yeah, this is kind of a map um, where we can select different areas that we want to view. It's, it's a pretty good system, it just takes a little bit of time to get used to. Because there's a lot going on on the screen. So I'm looking for the source of this um, alarm by going through each area and of course the one I look at last is uh, the right one. So that these links, I don't think I need to be doing them at this stage. Um, but hey, they were there, so why not?
That's another thing that can get quite disorientating. Ah, oh, here we go. I finally find the, uh, the right place. But yeah, um, it can get quite disorientating knowing where the floor is and which way is up. Um, particularly later on, you'll see. Um, and I guess that probably is true. Uh, on a spacecraft, but um, yeah, can get quite confusing. So here we can see her moving through each of the areas and we have to kind of uh, unlock her pathway. And I think her head just <laughs> glitched through some scenery there. If anyone has any requests for games to play, um, I'm playing this on a PS5. I was lucky enough to get a PS5 at launch. Um, this is actually a PS4 game, but on the PS5. If anyone has any requests of games to play, I'll consider them, so uh, please let me know. Again, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing at this point, uh, but I eventually find it. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door on three. Are you ready? One, two, three. That's it. Come on! the uh, weakest looking <laughs> fire extinguisher I've ever seen and also the flames go out quite delayed Get the vents on in here. there we go Clear these fumes. environment sensor I haven't had to use one of those yet uh, this is where I see if I can actually speed up the camera panning, uh, but no, unfortunately, uh, that's for something else. See now, because I've looked all the way to the right, if I want to look all the way to the left, it takes a really long time to scroll over. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Now. Hooray. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Do you think it's obvious where I'm supposed to be looking right now? Because again, it takes me a little bit of time. 
with hindsight it seems quite obvious to me but yeah it's this panel but yeah whatever residue on panel l f e one indicates a potential source what that's just a blank plate let me see And her initial reaction is to touch it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would only happen in a video game or a film. There is significant stress being applied to EAS 12. Immediate separation recommended. In fact, her touching that without knowing what it is, um, it reminds me of in one of the most recent Alien films, where there's like this spores coming out on an unknown planet, and he like sticks his head over it and has a touch. Um, it doesn't end well. interesting to know what happens if you get this wrong um, or if you get if you can get a game over this bit in particular gave me some trouble seem to hold the left stick towards the highlighted circle and then press X but uh, <laughs> you can see it takes me quite a few tries to figure it out Again, maybe that's just me. Oh, we did it with uh, 10 seconds to spare. And this is another section that I speed up some parts quite a lot here because there are five cameras um, and a lot to scroll through. And it takes me quite a while to find uh, what I'm looking for, so I'll spare you some of this. repeat your previous request. Have a look around, Sam. Tell me what you see. There is minor exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. Again, some speed up here. Because I'm looking at what look like damaged parts of the ship, but not the parts they want me to be looking at. But uh, no, I find it. The RU arm upper modules are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. I 
Well, I hope this uh, microphone sounds okay. I bought a brand new mic, set up all my recording and got comfy. And <laughs> I can't believe I didn't record my, uh, my own audio. We'll fix it for next time. But, um, I guess in a way I'd rather it happened straight away because now I know what I did wrong. And I think we're coming up to me finally finding the last bit of the ship they want me to look at. EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. brought you here it seems what why i don't know <laughs> 